Yo, 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 welcome on in, welcome to the channel. My name is Phil, and in today's video, we are covering Honkai Star Rail. We take a look at the four star characters of Honkai Star Rail. We have over 25 characters, most likely more come for launch. We have about 13 confirmed four star characters. A few of them will be free to play, such as March the 7th, Natasha, Asta, Herta, Quinku, and Serval. Right, the 13 four star characters we have will be Walt. Dang Hang, Sus Hang, Natasha, Asta, Hook, Hella, Servo, Herta, Ting Young, March 7, Sampo, and Arlan. In today's video, we are going to cover all the free to play four star characters, and then at the end of the video, we will see the best four star character to have or the most efficient four star character to have. Let's get into it. The first free to play four star, Dang Hang's element type is Wind. Dang Hang can even be a main dps or even a sub dps in the team his skill reduces the enemy speed upon a critical hit his ultimate skill becomes even more lethal once the target speed is lowered so he's a really good dps especially once the speed is lowered on the enemies moving on to our other free to play four star character that will be asta asta's element type is fire asta is a really good support asta is a support unit asta can increase the speed of all allies allowing them to perform more attacks before the enemy's turn for every charge in stack asta can increase the attack of all her allies so what's crazy you could have dang hang to increase the speed of enemies and then you can have asta as a support to increase the speed of your allies and then you're definitely going to get a turn before the enemy attack asta is going to be a great support to have she can buff allies speed and attack in your team build the strategy behind this game is going to be so op then we're on to March the 7th. So on March 7th in the game, I was thinking, yeah, this is going to be one of the main characters I'll be using. But as time goes on, she's really, really not making it to the team. But she's such an excellent free-to-play character to have. March 7th is a tank-type character with the element Ice, who can add shields to her allies based on her own defense. After a shielded ally is attacked by an enemy, March 7th will immediately counter-attack. She's a great unit to have, especially once your allies shield drop she's ready for a counter attack mark 7 does the exact same thing as japard really a great shielded unit and she's for free so mark 7 early game is going to be amazing to have with so much support from these four star characters you might be able to play this game completely free to play then we've got natasha element type physical well great thing about natasha is the design the design is amazing loving the blue hair and everything natasha is a healer in the team who's a bit Abilities are focused on restoring the health of all allies with her ultimate gift of rebirth and her skill love heal and choose she'd be a great support to have on the team especially a healer will fit into a lot of teams you're deciding to build for a free healer to get it's a, such a bonus i don't really know much about her type i know she's a sub dps with an element type ice when an enemy's hp drops below 50 percent she will trigger an additional aoe damage attack she sounds a lot like himoka i wonder how good she is in damage is she future proof let me know the comments if harta is future proof she sounds really like kimoko and then we have serval element type lightning got herself female jing young she can deal strong aoe damage serval is a main dps sub dps she relies on lightning dot to increase her damage so also a next great main dps unit to have for free and the last free to play unit will be queen q queen q's element type is quantum queen q is a main dps queen q skill deals maximum damage when she has four identical jade towels i really do hope you're enjoying these videos i hope they're helping you out remember to like and subscribe subscribe and podcast style at the moment is one of my most talked about games so feel free to drop it in the comment i don't mind talking about honkai star rail it's a great game to talk about we have reached the part of the video the most efficient or the best four star to have on the team we are on the pre-dwin 
GG site. Just like last video, I'll leave the link down below. Here we are on the page. We are on the DPS rankings. I'm gonna show the DPS ranking based on the final beta. It will be updated on the release. As we know, when the release comes out, the 26th of April, to take into account the buffs and nerfs potentially will be introduced in the release version. Sus Hung. But Sus Hung is up there with Celia on the single attack damage. But then we go to the AoE. Because if you not notice, Sus Hung is hitting more damage than Jing Hwang. But let's not forget, Jing Wan is an AoE hitter, not a single target hitter. But we could go on to the three target hits, the AoE damage. We got the boy at the top, Jing Hung. But look who's right underneath. On top of Himoko, we have Servo, a free to play character. She is just like Jing Hung, but she's only a four star unit. But once you go into a single attack, Servo really does drop down the charts for a single attack unit. So for bosses, it's not gonna be that great. But there's a lot to look forward to. I hope you're doing all well and looking forward to Hogkai Star Wars just as much as I am. Remember to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Peace, peace, peace. I'm a captain of the Silver Main Guards. To serve the Supreme Guardian is my responsibility and my honor. Bellabog is this planet's last bastion. And the Silver Main Guards are Bellabog's indestructible shield. You will know justice! This ends here. Here to the end. Only by becoming a shield for the people is one worthy of the title architect. Trust must never be betrayed. Hopes must never be squandered. Let yourself fall.